With the 5000 series, it is a greaseless gauge wheel design. So no grease points. We're utilizing fiber bushings inside of this gauge wheel arm. We've also introduced a shimless gauge wheel arm design. When you're adjusting the gauge wheel tension or the ability to shim it in or shim it out closer to the outside of those disc opener blades, previously you had to take that arm off. Now it is purely a shimless design. You can see the large retaining nut on the outside, which of course adjusts this gauge wheel arm. Really you just need a small needle nose pliers. Uh, there's a double spiral clip in here that we can really rotate, pull it out. You're gonna take this pin out of the mix and then you simply rotate this nut in or out to adjust the tightness of your gauge wheel to the outside of the disc opener blade. The beauty of the design, both this gauge wheel shaft is larger in diameter, so it gives us more surface area for longer wear life, well over double the wear life of the current gauge wheel arm without the need to grease it. And then you have, of course, your large nut on the outside, which is on a fine threaded shaft. The beauty of that fine thread and the flats that are on this nut is when you turn it one flat, it's approximately the thickness of a shim that you would adjust in or out. As we take this gauge wheel arm off, you simply rotate this nut. We talked about that fiber bushing on the inside. If we look at what is all inside the gauge wheel arm to achieve the adjustment we're talking about, we have a cutaway where you can see the nut on the outside. Okay, we can have our pin that again retains that nut. The nut again has a big shoulder that sits inside this gauge wheel arm. You have seals or poly wear pads on each side of this nut. So again, it's resistant to any fertilizer damage or fertilizer spray that gets on this nut. Allows it to always be adjustable. As we work our way inside, of course we have uh, the larger diameter shaft, which of course what the arm pivots on. We then have a seal, the fiber bushing, and then another seal to help keep dirt, debris, et cetera, out of the mix. So again, this is our gauge wheel shaft. This is retained inside the row unit itself. It's a threaded shaft, so it threads into, again, the cast iron 5000 series row unit. Of course, over time, you get tens of thousands of acres on that row unit, and you need to replace the bushing. Very similar to our current design, you're gonna press out your seals, bushings, press in a new set of seals and bushings, and you're ready to go in the field. So really take a lot of the maintenance and headache about adjusting gauge wheel arms with this new style nut and shoulder design on the 5000 series row unit. For more information, visit kidsy.com or be sure and check out your local Kinsey dealer.